Good evening, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike, the Bowtie RN, and today I wanted to go ahead and do a follow-up video on tying a bow tie. I did my first bow tie video a couple weeks ago, and I tied it actually pretty quick. I had a couple people ask me if I could slow it down and reshoot the video. So I'm actually going to do that today. Today I actually chose a different style of bow tie, so the tie I'm choosing for today actually has a pointed tip. Pointed tip is just a little bit different. Um, makes it a little more difficult for symmetry, but I'll show you how I go ahead and kind of compensate for that in the very end. Like I said in my first video, I do like the adjustable length bow ties, so the only adjustment part is the actual length. And I adjust my length where when I grab my bow tie, right where it flares out, that falls somewhere between my second and third buttons on the shirt. So it just it's a trial and error thing where you like it. Uh, right between the second and third button seems to work out the best for me. All right, when I do that, I'm going to go ahead and take my bow tie and take my tying hand and pull that part down a little bit further to where the other part of the knot goes all the way up towards the shirt collar. When I take the longer to end now, I'm going to cross over and go ahead and do a simple overhand knot. I want that overhand knot right about where the bow tie starts to flare back out. So see right here? flares right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and cross over at that spot, tuck it up underneath, and I'm gonna go ahead and take that piece and I can go ahead and go back towards the shoulder with that. The remaining part of the bow tie, I'm going ahead and cross over the front and fold it just like that to where it's gonna end up where the, the widest part of the bow tie is right where it folds and I have the narrow part in the middle. Take right part that I threw up over my shoulder and drop it down over the front. Should cross right at the narrowest portion of the tie. And I'm going ahead and take my folded part right here and the pointed part here, bring them together, hold that in my left hand, and go ahead and take the remainder of the bow tie that's sticking down, hold my finger right where it flares out, so we're narrow, 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 flares out all the way and starts to get narrow again. I'm gonna go ahead and keep my finger right where it flares out the most. Fold, go ahead and fold back towards my neck. So I'm going to take my finger, tuck it into the bow tie, fold it up underneath. Again, fold it up underneath and point that towards my knot. So I've got my finger pointing towards the knot right where I'm gonna tuck it through. Go ahead and take my fingers and hold that portion that I was had folded over before. Take my index finger and find where it folded over. So that part that folded over before now becomes a little hole. Take back that folded portion of the knot. And I'm gonna take my finger that I folded up in there, put those two fingers together, poke it through that hole Kind of work it through there. All right, I've got that folded portion. I can grab that again back with this hand. And I've got that portion that I pulled through. So I've got a nice fold there. That's gonna be the flat part for this side. The flat part for the other side is already folded up in my hand. So I'm going to take the flat part, the pointy part, and now I've got both sides of my knot. Go ahead and take both flat portions, kind of pull them tight a little bit, work it back and forth, flatten up that section that folded over and keep that nice and flat. And I'm going to kind of keep tighten it up, hold the flat parts, pull it back through until it's a little bit straighter. Look back in the regular mirror. Sorry about that. So, pull it just Tight a little one more time. All depends on how tight you like that centerpiece of the knot. I don't like mine super tight because when they're super tight, they're kind of small. I don't like that to be too small. What I do like though, is I want the pointy parts to poke out past the flat part about the same on both sides. So that's where I kind of get back that little bit of symmetry. So I've got flat portions, one in the front, one in the back, pointy portions, one in the front and one in the back. 
They kind of look pretty much the same on both sides. From a distance, a little bit hard to tell that it's actually is flat on the one side, but all put together, nice and tight. Slightly closer look, there we go. This portion of the knot is nice and flat. Some people do like to twist that portion of the knot as they fold it down. I'm just not quite a big fan of that. All right, how's that look? 